All right, YouTube, David Harry here. Now, do you have one of these, which is an iPad Pro M1 2021? And also, do you have cabled internet? And you're finding it really difficult to get that cable to stick into your iPad Pro M1 2021. Well, have I got a solution for you, my friend? So what we need is an adapter that will allow us to connect the ethernet cable to the iPad. And in this instance, I'm going to be using one by Cable Creation. On one end, we have a USB-C connection which plugs straight into the iPad Pro. And then on the other end, we have an ethernet socket for our ethernet cable. Now, just before I demonstrate this Ethernet adapter working, let me explain to you why I'm going to be using it. And that is quite simply because where I am in the home, I just can't get a good enough Wi-Fi signal. So if I go to settings here, as we can see, I'm actually on something on Wi-Fi here. However, if we have a look at the Wi-Fi signal at the top on the iPad in the corner, it is going from one bar to two bars, and quite often I can't even connect to the internet with that signal. So what I'm gonna do first of all is let's see if I can do a speed test on the Wi-Fi. So there I go on to speed test there. Now I'm gonna click go and hopefully it will connect to the internet and give us a speed test. Okay, right, <laughs> that just doesn't look like it's going to connect to the internet at all. So right now, I don't even have any internet connection, despite the fact that I do have a weak signal. So now what I'm going to do is connect this ethernet adapter, and let's just show you something that actually works. So the first thing that I'm going to do to connect the ethernet cable to the iPad is to connect the USB-C end of the ethernet adapter to the USB socket on the iPad. So... There we go, that's done. And then I just connect the ethernet cable to the ethernet socket on the adapter like that. Now once that's all plugged in, there is actually a light indicator inside the ethernet adapter, which we may not see right now, it's only because the room is very bright. But nonetheless, just inside there, there is a light indicator that lets us know that everything is all plugged in and working. Now with all the cables all connected, we can actually get further confirmation that everything is working by going to settings on the iPad. And then what we can now see is a new icon that says ethernet. So this only becomes active once we actually do have an ethernet connection. So once again, again this is just extra confirmation that we are actually indeed connected to the internet via the ethernet cable we've just plugged in now what i'm going to do is go to wi-fi and i will switch off wi-fi so there we go wi-fi is now off so the only way that we can now connect to the internet is through the ethernet cable and so now i'm going to go back to speed test again now hopefully this time speed test will connect to a server and will give us some kind of a reading let's say oh wait there we've just got an advert it's definitely connected and there we go so as we can see there not only this time has it connected but i've definitely got a decent ping level so that ping that we can see there which is 13 milliseconds that is actually faster than what I can get when I do get a Wi-Fi signal however if we're not getting a Wi-Fi signal we're definitely not getting a ping so yes for me personally this is a massive help because it allows me to play games online and with the, with the ping level of around 13 milliseconds that's actually pretty decent as well for online gaming and on top of that as well with it being now hardwired through the Ethernet I'm also getting 30 megabits per second download and 9 megabits upload as well Upload speed isn't a huge big deal for me, but 30 megabits download will usually mean that I will get like a HD stream when I'm doing any kind of online gaming and stuff like that. Okay, so there we go then. How to connect your internet via Ethernet to your iPad Pro 2021 M1. Now, don't forget this will also work for other iPad Pros as well with the USB socket on. And I dare say any other Apple device as well that has got a USB socket on it. As ever, there will be Amazon links to to the stuff that I've been using in the video in the description and if you don't mind please give the video a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell notification icon anyways I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now